Uh, we are currently raising, not, not to be coy about it, a $175 million fund, of which about half of it is, uh, is raised. We are 90% clean tech, 10% internet. We, we prefer to invest in uh, proven technologies that have some established revenues or at least referenceable customers and a potential for an exit in two to four years. And coming up, we'll see we've been quite good at achieving ex exits. Our focus is principally in the U.S. I should actually say North America, and we have three Canadian investments. And we will invest up to 20% of our current fund in China. We have established an office in Beijing, which has been open for uh, just over a year. We've made one investment there, which also has been very successful. Uh, we've done three IPOs on uh, NASDAQ in the last uh, three years. We are uh, listed by Prequent as a top 10 performing fund. Uh, all partners and principals are returning for our second fund. We believe that we have a special expertise in government and sales, and I should have added corporate partnering. Of course, that's what I spoke about yesterday, and we firmly believe that that is one of the key elements to success. Technology provides a very important uh, barrier to entry, but technology in and of itself is, as I'm sure all of you know, not enough to make a successful company. You need a lot of other factors with uh, corporate partnering and uh, sales and marketing being very important. Uh, in this fund, we are investing, uh, we, the general partners, are investing $9 million for 5% of the fund, having invested uh, $26 million in our last fund. So we, we have skin in the game, and we view ourselves as entrepreneurs just as, as uh, many of you do. And as it says here, 70% of our, our first fund investors are coming back for fund two. So far, uh, in our first fund, we have 8% IRR. We've returned 57% of, uh, of invested capital. I already mentioned three companies, uh, NASDAQ, Tesla, Amherst, in China Recycling Energy, which was our first Chinese investment, uh, immensely successful. And then this is one of our, uh, at the bottom here, points of differentiation. We have a, a track record of multiple exits in under 36 months. That chart shows you both our first fund, my prior fund, and Steve Wesley's prior fund. And I just uh, note some of those uh, companies. Powerlight was uh, sold to SunPower. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned yesterday, one of our current portfolio companies, Solexel, has, a, has just received an investment from SunPower as well. So we're very happy about that. Uh, E-Meter is, is probably the uh, most recent exit, which was, uh, it, that is a software company in the smart grid space, was recently acquired by Siemens in January of this year. Uh, one of the most successful, and one of the few exits and, and successful investments in the smart grid space. As it says here, uh, we have a very, very strong performance against, against benchmarks. Now I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed about ranking, so I'll go faster. Uh, we believe that we are value-added investors, principally in the areas that I have discussed. In our neighborhood, which is Santa Road in Menlo Park, there are plenty of people who are extremely deep in technology competence. And uh, so we don't seek to compete with them. We seek to complement them by working, as I said, principally with corporate partnering, uh, government relations, both at the uh, state and federal level, uh, as well as with sales and marketing. My, we are three managing partners by two uh, Colleague managing partners, Steve Wesley and Gary Tilpel, Bo, both have a lot of experience in building sales and marketing organizations, and uh, we contribute that expertise to our portfolio companies. As I just said, we seek to be a partner to many of our neighbors, and increasingly we seek to be a partner to our neighbors and friends in, in China as well. As you can see, our list of co-investors here, some very well-recognized names and some present here today. Uh, just a point on deal flow. Many people uh, ask, how is your deal flow? Frankly, we have trouble keeping up with it. We uh, have more deals to look at than we can uh, screen in a very serious manner. Fortunately, we don't have to screen them all in a serious manner because uh, many of them don't qualify. So we probably spend a lot of time on 200 companies per year. Uh, but nonetheless, we have a huge deal flow. We source from our, our friends on Santa Road and our friends in Beijing, and I hope now our friends in Singapore. Uh, we have, you know, over time built up proprietary networks, having been in Silicon Valley for 30 years myself, and uh, the same for my partners. We have many relationships. Uh, as an investment banker, I served the venture capital community, and so those relationships are helpful. We also do a deep dive into uh, four general sectors, which I will show you here.
and uh, as it says, we do network building through conferences, which I guess this is an illustration of that. This shows you our deal flow and the sectors. Uh, yeah, this is perhaps quite interesting because it shows you where are the greatest concentrations of investment opportunities that we have reviewed. Uh, in our second fund, our strategy is, is just uh, slightly refined from our first strategy, which is to say we seek to be a lead investor half the time, which is a small increase from our first fund. Uh, we will increase our investment per company slightly and keep our number of portfolio companies constant at 20. And while we have been a board uh, member or observer 80% of the time, we want to move that up to 95% of the time. And the only reason it doesn't say 100% is we don't want to exclude uh, an opportunity which we think is outstanding where that is not available to us. It shows you the four sectors in which we have been active, transportation of biofuels, renewable energy generation, smart grid and energy efficiency, and clean web and IT. And yesterday I spoke about our corporate partnering strategy, which is particularly important in the more capital intensive areas, obviously, because as a small fund, we couldn't possibly fund these companies ourselves. And in fact, it's challenging to fund some of them with a consortium of, of uh, venture firms without the benefit of corporate partners and or other sources of capital. Um, there are an amazing number of opportunities in the uh, clean web and IT area. Uh, many, some of them are probably familiar to you. Companies like Airbnb or uh, Zipcar, or these are essentially companies that are that are sustainability plays. They are using the existing infrastructure more efficiently by utilizing and now today commonly available technology, whether it's internet and or social networking. So we are increasingly active in that space as well. Uh, I mentioned that we recently opened an office in uh, Beijing last year. Tony Liu, who joined us from the DFJ Dragon Fund um, uh, nine months ago, is, is leading that office, and we have uh, very active relationships with uh, many co-investment partners. Steve Wesley's background is very interesting um, and unusual for our business. He served as the controller, which is an elected position in the state of California for four years before starting this firm. And prior to that, he was one of the early employees at eBay, where he was a senior vice president of marketing and business development, m and and International. And uh, prior to that, was a, was a lecturer at, at Stanford Business School and uh, also uh, quite active in public policy, uh, including in the clean tech area for the prior 30 years. His first job after college was working in the Carter administration, believe it or not, uh, in the Department of Energy. This is my background. I've mentioned that I was uh, an investment banker for 20 years before I got into the venture business 10 years ago. And my first fund, the Bay Area Equity Fund, which is somewhat similar to Eric's fund in that it was, uh, and it continues, a, a, it had dual purpose, which is to say uh, improving low and moderate income areas as well as generating the highest possible returns. And uh, fortunately, it was very successful on both metrics. And therefore, I believe we've done right uh, trying to solve society's biggest problems, one of which is the environment can be very, very profitable and have that uh, evidence to prove it. And I think that my investment banking background in part explains why I'm so interested in corporate partnering because I did quite a bit of that during that period. Our third managing partner, Gary Delbo, um, was in charge of uh, Vice President of Strategic Partnerships at eBay. And as I mentioned, you know, we have a deep sales and marketing background. But after that, he did something quite interesting and relevant to what we currently do, which is that he was in charge of sustainability efforts at eBay and built the largest gold lead certified building, the largest uh, solar system in Santa Clara County, the home of Silicon Valley. And Tony, as I mentioned, is our, our newest partner in charge of our China activity and comes to us from, from DFJ Dragon Fund. He's a, a wonderful partner for lots of reasons, including he's truly bicultural, having got, uh, being ethnically Chinese, having been born in Japan and school in Thailand and the U.S. Uh, and having worked now for six years investing in China and prior to that extensively in Silicon Valley. So I should have said multicultural, not bicultural. And this is the rest of our team, all of whom are outstanding people. But I think uh, since we're getting close to the wrap-up opportunity, I will uh, skip them and mention just briefly some of our portfolio companies. Um, some of these names I'm, I'm sure you know. Uh, yesterday I discussed CalSTAR, which is uh, the green brick and paper company, and, and um, 
Amherst, and of course, was a very successful IPO. And uh, Echo was a smart grid company which has been acquired, another exit. And uh, Lunera Lighting is an LED lighting company which uh, has huge traction and we're very, very optimistic. Uh, I'm just going to touch briefly on Revolution Foods because it's one of my favorite companies. In the US, uh, you may know we have a terrible problem with obesity and malnutrition. This company provides natural and organic school lunches at their federal free and reduced price reimbursement rate. So it is revolutionizing school lunch programs, providing nutrition uh, for free for poor children in the US, and is uh, the largest company of this type, financially quite successful, and has uh, many, many corporate partnering opportunities, again, because it addresses one of our most important uh, social problems. So I think I'll skip the appendix.